See you later, alligator. I'm not alligator. <laughs> I'm the crocodile. Oh, see you in a while, crocodile. <laughs> morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Amber has literally just headed out the door with James. And me and Mabel are off to get ready for the day. Amber was ready. Ready to go, wasn't she, in a cute little outfit? And me and you need to get our stuff on. Um, I got my Christmas onesie on, guys. I'm in the festive spirit, and good job, because it's time to put the decks up. Don't even go there. The decks are going up way later than I would have liked. But that's life, isn't it, really? Especially at the moment. Hello. Hello. We're getting you dressed. Let's do your vest up to start with. So the decks are going up so much later this year than I would have liked. I usually like 1st of December at the latest, but I have been known to go as early as mid-November, I think. But now it's like 6th of December or something, and I'm like, what's happening? But we've been chock-a-block. We went to Lapland UK with the girls, and I think we kind of wanted to do... We had Lapland UK, then we did like a, like a party thing for James's birth, men's birthday on the 4th and we thought we'll just do it after that. So we're kind of, we're prepping today, Amber's at James's parents today. So we've got some worky bits to do, but also we've kind of taken like today as a day where we're just gonna like get everything down from the attic and get everything ready to go. So then tomorrow and like the next few days when Amber's gonna be here with us, we can kind of just like decorate and not faff around getting, cause it's getting the stuff down from the attic that like, I just do not look forward to that bit. But once I've got them all out and I can see all the Christmas decorations, then I get so excited. So, and she'll be so excited too. Should we go with this one today? Should we go for a little festive legging and top number? Guys, look, I don't even know if you can see from here, but you know when you go from having like a super organized baby drawer to literally being like, washing's done, clean clothes, okay. And I literally just go, oh, great leggings, they'll go nicely with that. I need the adult version of this. This was Amber's. I feel like I have so many of Amber's old clothes. Well, I do have, I don't feel like I have so many of Amber's old clothes. I do have so many of Amber's old clothes that remind me of like when she was Mabel's age and I just got them all down. Like I'm getting them all down in age order and just Mabel's wearing them and it's making me so emotional. And I'm like, this is the last, this is my last little baby that's gonna wear these clothes. <laughs> this is my last baby that's gonna wear this cute little bear jumper. So cute. Ready? Peek a boo. <laughs> it's Mabel's nap time now. Oh, done. That was a quick. I wish my getting ready was that quick for me, too. I wish that was getting that quick for me. My words are not coming out. <laughs> I wish quick that was ready for me. That's how mum's brain's working this morning. <laughs> So Mabel's gone down for her nap and we're gonna film Get Ready With Me for TikTok. I haven't done a Get Ready With Me in so long, um, but I'm feeling we need the Holy Grail makeup Get Ready With Me um, update on TikTok. So that's what we're doing this morning. Hey guys, I don't know why I'm fully, well, I do know why I'm fully dressed. I just filmed it Get Ready With Me for the day. This is what I'm gonna be wearing for the day. The leggings, the cute Christmas jumpery. Put this on later when we actually leave. And my, put on your positive socks, socks. <gasps> this outfit makes me happy. This jumper makes me so happy. It's literally James's worst nightmare, guys. Chunky knit, little like frilly bits, little pearls on it. So I've gone for a half up, half down today. Like obviously you can see here how thin my hair is. This is how much hair we get left when we do a half up, half down. I've got such fine hair. It's so, so thin, but I'm fed up of not doing, not doing that style because, because I get like, I think it looks cute. Even though it's like, so fine and so thin and yes i you know would love some curly amazing pinterest locks that you see but look how cute i hope you can see this the little thing is that i've got in the back it's only from sainsbury's a little red christmasy clip i don't know if you could even see that i didn't know how good my camera skills are but yeah this is my outfit for the day it matches the little red and red which is cute and um, what was i going to say yeah so i've just been filming some TikToks and a reel, and I actually ended up doing something I wanted to do for ages, which was rain and stain proofing my Uggs. So I've seen this popping up all over social media where people literally, so I did my fake 
faux Uggs today. I've got my real ones, but I thought, let's try it with these ones first. To be honest, I wear these ones even more than my real ones, because the real ones that I've got at the moment are the Tasmans, which I bought the platform Tasmans, and they just slip off my feet. I think I told you guys this before. So these faux, like, mini, ultra mini um, Ugg ones, which I got from Deichmann, which the brand is Graceland on Deichmann. I don't know if they still get any more in stock. They were sold out last time I looked. Um, I wear them all the time and I've tried the spray on these so I'm waiting 10 minutes because basically this is the spray I think I got it on Amazon you literally spray it wait 10 minutes spray it again and supposedly you can stick your Ugg boots under a tap and the water just like falls off so we're waiting for the last 10 minutes then I'll take you guys with me to run them under the tap and see how it goes oh my gosh. stop it oh my gosh no, I can't cope. <gasps> I am so impressed with that. So I've left them dry now because I went too far. This is like rainproof and I was literally just like kept going, like pouring the tap over it because I couldn't get over it. Then they got like a bit more wet, especially on the front. So it said to do two coats. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do multiple now on my real Uggs and see see what whether it kind of adds even more protection if you get me so yeah i'm going to start the coats on these now and just do quite a few coats on these and see see what happens so guys i am now boiling some tortellini and making a little smoothie do you want a little bit of banana this one's up from her nap there you go baby she's been munching on little bits here and there mila wants to come in hello meals have you had a nice explore have you had a nice explore? It's not too muddy today, that's good. <laughs> She's probably like, hmm, I can smell food now. So I will come in and stay with you guys. So I'm going to make, so I'm making some little tortellini. That's actually done now. I'm trying to think what to balance you on. Not the clean greens that I'm actually going to use. I could balance you guys there. That's giving me glowy, <laughs> glowy vibes under the kitchen light. We're making a smoothie. I usually try, these are like apparently meant to be amazing for you but you know when something's so good it tastes like soil so it tastes good in a smoothie and if it's gonna transform me from the inside out i'm gonna try it these days because we need the best we can get also i'm embracing lately the brown banana pieces so i've always been a bit of a like a, with banana like especially since having kids i didn't realize banana was linked to like constipation but also I read the other day that basically if a banana is like before it's ripe it aids constipation so it like contributes to it but if it's going brown it is actually good for constipation so sorry guys you probably weren't expecting poo talk on the video but there we go on the video I sound, <laughs> I sound like uh, my grandma and my mum on the video you're doing the videoing today yeah sorry it's just all poo talk and stuff like that on the vlogs these days but ah oh, james is here <laughs> he's making me smile uh yeah so we're embracing the brown banana now because apparently it helps with constipation you've just come on a lovely time here james i'm doing oh he's gone <laughs> he's just opened the door and walked the other way he's probably heard the word um oh no he's getting a box so I thought rather than eating it because I don't know what it is but I just can't eat it I'm just that's like I don't know it tastes fine in a smoothie I don't know I, you would literally heave darling if I tried to get you to eat my brown banana um I think James is he's been somewhere he's been doing he's been doing tasks I know daddy's gone she got so excited when he came in and then he turned around and walked away. Dada, where you gone? He's gone in the shed. I don't know what he's up to. I think he's prepping for the Christmas deck slash, I don't know, guys. I don't know, he's on his tasks, his errands of the day. Um, anyway, so in the smoothie today, we're putting clean greens, dates, which I'm gonna cut up, bananas, and then almond butter. And we're gonna make like a nutty, buttery, tasty smoothie. Yeah, does that sound good? And we'll put in some chia seeds because we're healthy like that. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. James is home. Hello, you've been running errands. Hello. 
<laughs> so do you like the frilly, really pearly Christmas jumper? I knew it would be your favourite thing I've ever bought. <laughs> Silence. I don't mind it. Silence speaks a thousand words. You know what, Christmas jumpers are Christmas jumpers. It's quite cute for a I Christmas tree. I quite like it, I like with the black leggings, like I like the pop, you know. He I likes the basic this. black leggings more. I like the black leggings. That's giving festive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's giving James... Is that a compliment? <laughs> I don't feel like vomiting when I see you, so that is a compliment from you. You definitely stand out. I do. I thought I'm getting ready for Christmas tree purchasing slash Christmas decorating. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Maple's escaping into the playroom. So this, oh, I love that. Do you want to try it? <laughs> I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be able to get him too, guys. <laughs> We're ready to get a Christmas tree, a Christmas tree. Uh, Christmas tree! Uh, a Christmas tree! <laughs> We're going to get the Christmas tree. Me and Mabel are matching in like Fair Isle, Far Isle, Fair Isle, whatever that word is. <laughs> fair Isle, Pass Isle, Fair Isle, Christmas jumper. Fair Isle? Yeah, what's the word? Festive. Have you never heard it? No, not festive! I do not know that word. No. Look it up now, Google it. Fair Isle. Christmas jumper. F A I R. F A I R. Yeah. I S L E. Fair Isle. Jumper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see? So my Mabel's is definitely like Fair Isle. <laughs> yeah. Is I it Fair Isle? Is that literally what it's called? It must be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. Fair Isle knitwear. That's right. Would mine be classed as Fair Isle? I don't know what the definition is, but it looks Fair Isle I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> James is looking so festive in Fair Isle to get his Christmas tree. Wow. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the finer, finer, <laughs> the finished Christmas tree collecting look. Hello, you've got your little knitted, knitted romper on. Mummy's gone colourful today. I just told James about the glorious Ugg spray that we all Tuckle explored. Tackle tail. I'm a telltale guy as I told him, I'm telling on him, I'm telling you. He just goes, I told him about it and I was like, and the water, like it was amazing, The water, I put it under the tap and the water just flew off and he was like, oh no, that's not good. And I was like, why? And he was like, well now you can wear your Uggs outside. <laughs> How savage is that? <gasps> my Uggs look cute, okay? They look yeah. so cute, especially with my colourful outfit. I never really go with that colourful anymore, <laughs> but I'm in a proper colourful outfit today. Is a colourful outfit just one colourful item of clothing? Have you seen my scarf? Two colourful items of clothing. Is Thank it? you! <laughs> and multiple colours, if I do say so. Mm. Very cute. You do look, yeah, very cute. <laughs> I like you do say that it sounds like I know. <laughs> you do look very cute. You look really cute. <laughs> no, I don't think we should go too big either. Oh, nice one. Like, yeah, look at that. But then you get that home I and it looks massive. I know. I'm thinking like, I can't touch the ceiling. No. So, and it's on a log. That I is a know. sweet one. Or that one, it's even a little bit smaller. This one? This yeah, one? yeah, yeah. They're quite oh, wide. Nice, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Mm, uh, I'm feeling one? it. They're all nice. <laughs> They're all really nice. I stayed in the car for two minutes to write my caption. James and Mabel went in. I'm just going into the house and I've noticed this. James has walked straight past it. He has no idea what it is. Let's go in there, tell him my exciting delivery is here, which he's going to be like, oh! What's in that box? <laughs> do you want to know? Is that a set of skis? Is it on the holiday? I do warn you, I ordered it before you said, let's go minimal on the Christmas decorations Where in the kitchen. On In the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> James is coming down, so I'm gonna show him my amazing purchase, guys, which. I've been avoiding this on my emails from Amazon. <laughs> I thought it was something for Christmas for me. Happy Christmas. It is something for Christmas for you. For all and of us. enjoy the festives, de festives decorations, festive decorations bring. Right. This has been going viral on everywhere. 
and it must be good. The best way, so in the kitchen, do you know where I where the arch just by there? And every year I do that thing where I put the hooks and I hide that, I yeah. hang that wreath, and last year it kept falling down. Well, everyone's been getting these getting getting these like shower rod things, which are called tension rods, and you yeah, make them yeah, yeah. big enough. And then you start with it low, you wrap this gorgeous wreath around it, and then you lift it up, and it forms like oh, okay, <laughs> okay. So is that all? Is it? This is just a shower rod. This is just a shower rod. So an exciting reveal is, guys. This is a shower rod. <laughs> that was so underwhelming. Thanks for watching. Anymore. Well, this is exciting to me, guys. Okay, look, this big gap by here is basically where I usually put. Um, the, you can see my hooks right at the top there, and it's just not sturdy and it's not the best. So, big rod across there, big gorgeous my wreath stuff wrapped around it with some baubles hanging down. I'm feeling it. The alternative solution yeah. was to um, not put anything there. Yeah, that was going to be the, yeah. yeah. See, it was a shame because we actually agreed on that. I was like, yeah, let's stick to minimal in the kitchen and then we'll go all out in the birthday, lounge. I know, it was James's mum's birthday the other day. That's why oh. we were celebrating. Um, now I've gone... I've got on my way and we've got a bit of kitchen vibe too. So Mabel's just gone down for her nap. James has gone straight outside to put up the outdoor decorations. He had quite a cute idea earlier, even though we're doing the like the whole decorating shabam with Amber over the next few days, he thought it would be quite cute because the outside decorations are a bit like boring. It's just going up and down ladders and hooking it all to the stuff and kind of like it's faffy, like sorting out the reindeers and stuff that we've got for outdoors. So he thought it would be cute if from now until Amber gets home, he could try and get all the outdoor decorations done. It gets dark at like three o'clock now, as you guys know. So it'll be dark when she gets home and she'll be able to see like all the reindeers lit up and all the house lit up. Oh my God, my cheeks hurt just thinking about her being like, oh, Christmas decorations. She's so excited. She's so in the festive mood, which is just bringing me all the joy this time around. So obviously last Christmas she was a bit young and like didn't really know what was going on, but She's been to a few kind of like festive things. Obviously we went to Lapland UK, which was just so special. She met like Santa there and it was just amazing. She was singing Toy Story with Santa and my heart just melted. She went to see um, like a Hansel and Gretel like show performance thing where like it was for kids and they had like these mats all around and all the kids were sat and she went with my mum. And I just love the age that she's at. She, I know I keep saying it, but she's just like my best friend. And she got home and we were talking about it for ages. And then before bed, she was like telling me, I was like, tell me, tell me again all about the show. Tell me about Hansel and Gretel. She was just chat, chat, chatting, telling me, going off on one about something else, coming back. She was so excited to tell me all about the stuff. And then I tried, my phone was next to me and I tried to like sneakily record her, like um, telling her stories because I have so many of those um, little like video clips of her that I've kind of added captions to that I've cut down to mini ones that like I need to put them in a special folder because me and James like go through my camera roll every now and then we get into like a deep hole of just watching those little videos that I've put together that I always post on my Instagram story of her just like talking and each time you go through the stories like this she just gets more and more kind of imaginative and more and more creative and how she speaks and what she talks about. Has Hazel and Gretel good ones? They're the good ones. Because Hazel and Gretel had to went to walk over in the dark. Right. they both stuck <gasps> in the coffee. No. And a tree went to him. Who? A tree. Who, a tree? Yeah. What did the tree do? A tree went to... Hazel and Gretel. Really? Yeah, because they were stuck. They were stuck? Yeah. Then? Yeah. It was all done. That was all done, was it? Because yeah. I'd wear my dress. I go to Nanny Grandma's quickly. Yeah. Then I go to New Nanny and quickly go to show it didn't miss. You didn't miss it? No. Oh, that's good. Nanny Cell said, Abba, yeah. we're going to show today. Oh, that's exciting. Mabel is just growing up so fast as well. Like, she's my, they're so different. She's my little coochie. Like, oh, I just love her. She's so coochie with James. She's so coochie with me. She's just coochie with everyone. And that's just absolutely dash. Like, they're very different. Um, You know, Amber has always loved babbling and talking. And Mabel isn't, like, 
as much into that but she loves exploring crawling you guys know amber like you know she just loved to sit and look in her treasure baskets and then she did her little bum shuffle and then got up to walk like she never crawled um so you know they've been actually so opposites in so many ways wait i literally just pulled the tea on what am i doing i'm gonna put another tea bag in this is risky don't tell james guys don't tell james he likes a cup of brew properly my brain is just gone somewhere else right so that's the plan Stan. James is doing the outdoor decks. I've got, and for the outdoor decks, technically they're indoor decks, but it's my favorite thing to do because I hate so much putting lights outside the house. For the outdoor decks, um, like on, at the front of the house, I always string lights in the windows of the, the front rooms of the house. The hooks are there already now, so it's just so easy. You just string them up, plug them in, and then the front of the house like lights up as well. So I'm hoping to get all those done. Mabel's gone down for her nap, can't remember if I said that. So in the nap window now, I'm gonna try and string up all those so we're all ready to go when Amber gets back. Excited! So these are the ones in Amber's room. I've just done them. Yes, they look like an absolute tangled mess. Um but they look good once the window <laughs> once we close the window what well, sorry once the light's gone i feel like a hot jumbled mess <laughs> flustered got my cup of tea and i'm sweating obviously once the sun goes down i'll show you from the front of the house they look so good it's just such an easy hack rather than like hanging them outside so these are the ones um that we have for the windows and then there's the reindeers sprawled across. James is going to be moving on to the reindeers next. And one of my random trees. I have so many more in the attic, guys. I can't wait to get the rest out. But we thought we'd start with just a few bits and bobs and ease into the mass amount of Christmas decorations that I have in the attic. Guys, can you see the reindeers are up? There's one of my trees. I have about how many out there so far? I've got a few more down from the attic. One, two, three, four, five five trees and we're currently getting because i've decided i'm not going to have any of them indoors so we cleared the um space here which usually has the desk in um so we're Hello. just getting the, the tree in the yeah we put the desk into the gym and then this is the hey meals you're helping us are you helping us you are <laughs> no it's too cold this is the tree I'm loving it guys, it's a lot smaller than the ones we've had previous years and I'm here for it. It's not toppling over, the stand can actually hold it upright. I'm excited for this one. She's perfect! Look at her! I love it! It's lush! <laughs> singing to She's perfect! I love it! That's my favourite tree. It? She's not even done yet and that's my favourite tree so far no that we've ever had. Okay. Hello! Do you like our new tree? What is it? Look. She's gonna put it over. Are you gonna be a climber? Are you gonna be a climber? Yeah. She's gonna be even more like. What's that? What's that bubble? What's this? Smells nice. What's that cheeky grin? She's so cute. We're now cooking our dinner. We're cooking Hello Fresh. I what else would it be? With a peeler. And I think my dad would be so disappointed in me. Why? Because he's one of these really cool people that can peel with a knife. <gasps> I like peel really finely. Mm, not for and us. And I'm doing it and I'm basically cutting potatoes in half. <laughs> like I'm Just peeling them off. It's unbelievable. <laughs> we love it. We have been eating it every night pretty much since Mabel arrived. It has been the biggest lifestyle change I feel like we've ever had, honestly. But yeah, it's very easy. The literally the bags arrive, they link up the numbers on the bags to the meals. They're so easy to follow. So tonight we have got yes. Moussaka. And I'm very excited because Amber actually had this a little while ago yeah. and loved it. Like, she did. It was so spicy. And I think that's what HelloFresh is doing as well. Not only is it mixing up what we eat, but also what like we take Amber. Yeah. Because like I remember la last week we had like three days of like no Hello Fresh left, and I was in such a funk. We were honestly. I was, like, I, have, I was walking around Sainsbury's, going, I have no idea what we <laughs> eat dinner. Like I feel like before Hello Fresh we just had the same three meals. We struggled, yeah. Over and over. We're again. so and repetitive. Then to mix it up, we would just get takeaway. Yeah, that would literally be our life. And now, like when when we like 
delayed one day or like we're like one day not having a fresh I'm like tuna pasta for the girls <laughs> again literally. the tuna pasta again we'll get kebabs yeah literally and we'll get takeaway aubergines are looking beautiful yeah. as well oh god um, oh, I god. know they're looking oh, delicious I love a bit of oregano oh, oh darling it's the, one, it's the spice and it's the herb isn't it's the it? one you That's like, like just tip it in that just, and garlic because it just makes it taste a bit like pizza really doesn't exactly. it exactly it's like you're just in Italy again yeah <laughs> pizza vibes um, as always we've got a really good discount code so I'm just trying to balance you guys there um, which is JC2023 we also have a QR code which will pop up on the screen <gasps> and a link how cool is that <laughs> I know it's so Scan cool and the QR code guys on your phone We're I so... remember like three years ago Down with the kids. QR code started existing I had no clue what they were. I know. I was like taking photos of them. I know. Being like, oh, I wasn't even getting my camera wrap up. I was like, was it wasn't even that long ago now that they yeah. started. I feel like it was kind of like COVID time, like that they no, kind of came about. That it came about before. massive during COVID. Yeah, of, like restaurants and stuff. It but did. It was around quite a bit before that. It Just was. Like, no, none of us. I know. We're like old now. <laughs> <laughs> we have days as well to catch up. <laughs> And also, Mabel kind of isn't far off literally eating what we eat. Yeah. She eats everything, doesn't she? She's the biggest foodie. Just basically what we eat, just a little bit more mushed up. She is the biggest foodie. She loves it. So our code JC2023 or the QR code on the screen or the link in the description gets you 60% off your first box plus 25% off your next two months plus free gifts. So you can use any of those to get that. Um, and if you've not tried it, I honestly just highly recommend. Like it's been such a lifestyle change for us. We absolutely love it. Let's cook. And Amber's going to be home soon. Woohoo! I know, I always say that. I'm like, we are cooking dinner. Let's cook. So anyway, I'm going to do my knitting. <laughs> go! We're going to wait for Amber. Let's go. Wait for Amber. Let's go. Wait for Amber. <gasps> the reindeers are shining. Oh, look at them out there. Look at the reindeers. We're so excited about Amber seeing them. It's going to be one of those classic, like, times where you think your toddler's going to be so excited to see your, you know, decorations or whatever you think they're going to be excited to see. And then look at you standing. Do you just want to start walking now? No, I can't keep up with you. I can't keep up. And she's going to turn up and just be like, I don't know. You never know what the toddler's going to, reaction's going to be or what is going to happen. Look at you climbing. Look at you climbing. We got this back. So this we used for Amber when she was around, well, probably around Mabel's age, maybe a bit older actually. Um, and then we gave it to my friend. Look at you just chilling. You <laughs> it's my friend she used it so much and the covers got like just from both of us using it for so long over the years it got they got like really grimy so i took all the covers off with the zips put them in the wash and they're honestly fresh as new so i'm chuffed with that so you've got your own little your own little new obstacle course there you've got your little soft play haven't you bells are too sparkly hello not my reindeer his ears are too velvety. That's my reindeer. His nose is so shiny and red. <laughs> Next, we're moving on to this book, Mabel. Ready? Oh, get your bells jingle all the way. You see, see it? a light. Yeah? Mommy, Daddy, go light. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look. What can you see? Rainy eyes like the other one. Oh my gosh. You've got so many lights. Do you like them? Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Hello, reindeer. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Look at the tree. Yeah. Oh, and so look at your bedroom. Are you, do you like them? Yes. <laughs> I do get a pet. <laughs> How did we get him there? Look, they're flashing. <laughs> Do you like him? Yeah. Oh, come here. I love you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is it? <laughs> How did that get there? It must have gone quickly when he was up all day. Beautiful? I think they are too. Remember our bells from Father Christmas? Should we put them on the tree, our first decorations? Yeah, should we put it together? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I'll help you, we'll hold one bit each. You're... Amazing! 
Yeah, we've got so many decorations to put on there tomorrow. Where are you going? You're checking your lights again. See? There's the reindeers. They're so amazing. They're so amazing. I think so too. My bedroom now. Zaka is up. Uh, hey, we've all got our portions. I went a bit OTT. I went a bit OTT with mushing up the kids' portions. He said Musaka's ready. Yeah, this is Musaka. You've had it before, Amber, and you really loved it. Oh, okay. Thanks, Gable's Daddy. Going straight in. And home we got it, bed. So, girls have gone down to bed. James and Mila are Hello. playing cod. Whatever this is. Is it cod? Yeah. It is. <laughs> is it cod? Whatever the games are these... Lace. The youth are playing these days. Right, so, I've got my sock mess advent calendar. I thought I would open it with you guys. Come on, let's open it. I thought I would open my one tomorrow with Amber. Not that it's that exciting, it's a literal sock. Oh, also, let me show you. I mean, that's exciting for me, but I meant not that it's exciting for a toddler. Obviously, it's exciting for us, guys, if you like me and love a sock. Um, oh, look, the trees in the background, how festive. Looking a bit dull at the moment without any lights or decorations. I was going to say, I know you're going to be more minimalist. 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 <laughs> the two decor, I think we can do a bit better. The two bells are on there. Um, just excuse James's lovely sounds there in the background, guys. I don't want all of the boots in the house, so I'm just putting that I know, on. I know. I just always do this with James. I literally like just kind of like huddle around wherever he is. I just like spending time. Like I'll just sit there now and do my knitting That's in front of these gun noises. Again, no, we do. We're rewatching How I Met Your Mother, which is always good. Can you at least turn it down? I can't hear that if people are speaking up on me. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. You might have to just get killed a few times for a minute. Um, so, if you didn't see, I think I showed this in the vlog before, but Treatbox really kindly sent me this little um, advent calendar of socks. And so, I think it's actually 12 days. But I've got this little bag and put them in because so I kept kind of like, I kept getting lost all over the place. What day are we on, James? Is it day six? Yeah. We need to do our advent calendar as well. I didn't know this morning, didn't I? Uh, it's day five today, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. Is it day five or day six? No, five. No, yeah, five. Fifth day. Oh, yeah, five. 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 <laughs> it's five. Um, it's just the best. The best calendar, guys. Socks. It's more Christmassy ones. They've done a good mix of, like, Christmassy ones, but then also, like, yesterday I had one with little lemons on, and it's just, like, Christmassy ones are cute, but obviously you want to wear, be able to wear the other ones all year round. But look how cute those are. Oh, they would have really gone with my jumper that I wore today and my pink and red. I'm loving pink and red. They're honestly just the loveliest socks. Yeah. That was so exciting. No, no, just, I meant then the lovely socks in terms of like, they feel like such nice quality. <laughs> just a bit of footage there, me putting on a sock for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's my Sockmas calendar. I think, like I said, I think that goes up to day, tw I think that's like 12 days of Christmas calendar. But yeah, the girl, girls have gone to bed and we're gonna decorate the house tomorrow. Amber's actually so, so excited. excited. Yeah, we actually have a fun day going shopping in the morning. Oh, we do, we'll yeah. Santa. We're going to see like Santa in the, what, do you, what would you call it? The mall, the shopping mall. Um, the what's it called? Mall. A shopping centre. Yeah, a shopping centre. Oh, like I was trying to think of the center. word. Like, I didn't know the American one was mall, oh. but I couldn't think of a shopping centre. Yeah, we're working with St. David's, which is like our local shopping centre in the city. Um, which we literally... In the city. In the city. <laughs> in the big, in the big apple. Oh my God, I'm losing my head. This is why I get like at past seven o'clock at night. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're doing that in the, tomorrow morning, which will be really exciting because they've got like a Santa's Grotto thing as well, which um, Amber's going to be meeting Santa, which would be cute. And then we're decorating the tr uh, tree, tree and house for the rest of the day. Is it Santa or is it Father Christmas? We're doing both. I feel like we're turning American. What, with Santa? With, San with Santa. With Santa. Yeah, I think I say Santa a lot more often, but it's easier to say. It's so much easier. I think that's my big thing. Is I know. Not I want to say Father Christmas, but it's a bit of a mouthful. I know it just flows out as Santa. Santa. Just when you just it. yeah, I know. And also, in case I didn't show you guys, my advent calendar that I made for the girls. This is their this little embroidered one. It's got little. It's not actually finished, but like it was finished enough for this year. And then I'm gonna add to it because I want to like do writing at the top and stuff. But each one has got a little picture on. It's quite cute. 
Amber absolutely loves it. And there's a little like snack in there um, and a little treat for Amber and a little snack for Mabel every day. So she's loving doing that. Gailies, you ready? Yeah. So on the calendar today, good morning, everyone. Hello. Hello. Um, <laughs> are you excited? Maybe she's on his but a nice little my knee. You are, aren't you? In your matching pyjamas too. And Mummy's got a Christmas pyjamas on as well. Right, guys, we're looking for number six. Let me just show you. This is what number six looks like, okay? Like, that's number six. Okay. This one? Yes! That was quick! Whoa. What have we got today? Oh, <gasps> snack! Look, Lizzie. Yeah. <gasps> find it all out. Let's go find the elf. Good idea. So, we're looking for the elf, guys. <laughs> he's a little bit cheeky, isn't he? But he's not too cheeky. He just moves around the house, doesn't he? But he doesn't do anything like extravagant, uh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> where is he? Where is he? It's here. So where have we checked? Checked in the play, we checked in the... Yeah. The kitchen, don't check in a lounge. Yeah. We got a snack. Then where's he out? Hmm. Should we try upstairs? Yeah. Oh. Let's try it Okay, let's try upstairs. Dad! <gasps> Where? Dad, Dad! Oh my gosh! How did he get there? That's so funny. No, we we'll have to get up on the chair and get him. We can only touch his feet, can't we? A little A for Amber and a little M for Mabel. Mm, morning, guys. Yeah? You found the other pink? I didn't. Oh, you didn't find the other pink. Can you help me? Yeah, of course. One sec, guys. So. Oh, can I have a wipe, please? Oh, you want to wipe for your hands? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll be guys. So, guys, we have come to St. David's to film the shopping ad. We just picked up our media passes. Where's the little thing that says media pass? There. <laughs> Look how bougie, guys. That's because obviously you're not usually kind of meant to film in shopping centres and stuff, so it allows us to do the filming for the ad that we're doing, um, so people know what we're doing. Uh, but Amber's holding James. James has gone walking around to put Mabel to sleep in the pram. Have you got Daddy's media pass? Yeah. Perfect. You're holding it safe. Look at these decorations. Let's show. Look at that tree, guys. The decorations here are amazing. Like they've literally upped the game this year they look unreal yeah we'll go find daddy you wait there and i wait there. no i won't wait there i know you could do it on your own you're a very big girl now but we've got to find daddy haven't we because where are we going yeah. who are we going to go see from getting to the door santa they've literally got these floating trees which look unreal they've got letters everywhere and the whole kind of theme is like do you believe so they've got like a thing over there which says i believe we just went over didn't we to see all the letters and they got like letters everywhere. I don't know, it's just so, so magical. Do you believe? Oh, magic. Where can you see him? So Mabel did not fancy napping. What are you doing, Chiki? What do you like, you cheeky girl? So me and Mabel are having a little look around Zara. Guys, I got the leather skirt on today. Look how bougie I've gone. Leather skirt, little, I look, I look like I'm in work with my media pass. Um, my little skims top and my blazer. That's my outfit of the day. But basically, yeah, Mabel didn't want to go down for her nap. So me and her are just strolling around now. Amber and James have gone to get a little drink before then. I think it's going to be around the time that we are kind of booked in to go and meet Father Christmas. So we'll be heading off to do that very soon. Very exciting. Amber's so excited. I feel like since she um, kind of met Father Christmas in Lapland, she really kind of like gets excited by the whole like meeting father christmas i'm just wondering what she's going to be like because she's very like visual she remembers everything very specifically so i feel like she's going to meet father christmas and be like he looks different to the one in lapland so we're just going to have to let her know that father christmas sometimes looks different and he comes in all different shapes and sizes and magical Father Christmas versions. We're just having a little look at John Lewis toys. We've picked John Lewis do the coolest decorations. They are expensive, but they're pretty unique, I find. So I picked my favorite, which is the gingerbread house. Pretty unique. 
Um, and this was one Amber picked, of course. The sweets drink. I absolutely love them. I think they're awesome. Um, so yeah, we're just in the middle of kind of filming. James has got his media pass on hand because you just love filming. Because I'm a good boy, so I just yeah. get told. Where are the pass? <laughs> Where are your pass? So we are back from our St. David's trip. Hello, hello, hello. Amber and James, what are you going to go and do? I'm going to do with Daddy and get decorations. <gasps> we are! So Amber's going to stand at the bottom of the ladder and I'm going to pass them <laughs> down to her from up high. I'm going to go, catch! And you're going to go, ah! Mummy will help too. Let's go. I have to. Yeah? I can pass it for you, Mummy. That will be so helpful. Only one hand, no other hand. Just one. You have to put Mabel down the floor. Yeah. Then move Mabel away. Yeah. Then... Keep her safe. Then put a box down. Yeah. Put the coins down. Yeah, good idea. Then carry Mabel and carry box. Yeah, I'm then taking both to the tree. This, hello. Look at your cute look, guys. Oh, where are you gone? There, it's pies. Scrammy, scrammy, scrammy. Mila always hates it when uh, they go up in the attic. She's like, guys, I can't get up. Okay, I'm coming. And it all on the pile. Here it is. I think this is everything now. Woo! Oh my gosh. This was the advent calendar that mummy made last year. And we had little... I forgot about this. We didn't get it down early enough. Gosh, we always do open. I just... They're a bit stiff at the moment. See? And then we could put little chocolates in them. But we've got our one for this year. With reindeer ears on. <laughs> That's funny. Should we put it on? Oh, that looks brilliant. And these are our stockings. Remember we said we were going to put these um, by the fireplace and Santa was going to fill them with treats and put them on our bed? Uh, stockings. This is mine. Yeah. yeah. Whose is who? This is mine. Yeah. That's my mummy and daddy. Yeah. Which was that going to be? Me? Mabel? Mabel. Yeah. <gasps> Look, we got the star. Star for the top of the tree. Oh, star. That goes on the top of the tree, that does. Wow. And then we've got to find all the ball balls. Oh, look, here's some special ones. Wow. Oh, my gosh, look. <gasps> and look, there are my smelly ones. Oh, this makes me so happy. Yeah. I get so, like, even though we've only had, like, a few Christmases with all these decorations, it makes me so happy. Like, I can't imagine in 10 years if we're like getting out the same decorations, how many memories they'll have behind them, if you get me. Please open them. Um, this is just so exciting, even just having the first Christmas where Amber's like so excited about it all. <gasps> wow! Oh, oh look, there's one with Mila on! Oh my gosh! It's my favourite ones! I know, wait, which ones? Oh no, these are Daddy's favourite decorations! Look at them! Much to see in here, Amber. Who's this? Oh my gosh! Hello, Wumbo. This is your favourite. Hello, Wumbo. This is typical you. <sighs> what is it? This is your favourite box. Oh. A ball ball! My houses! Oh my gosh. So along oh, here, houses. I literally have so many of them, guys. All across here, I take everything off. Shall I do it again this year? I do love it. It's my Christmas village. And I put the fake snow on the bottom and I do like a whole house of village of light up tea, house, tea light houses. <laughs> Guys, we've got the Grinch on. Woo! This is our kind of like tradition. Put the Grinch on and decorate the tree. <gasps> Whoa! Santa! Yeah! Guys, this is my dream come true. This is the best day ever. And Mabel's napping, she's missing it. But she'll be down in a minute. There's, there'll be plenty of hours to go of doing this, guys. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying, isn't it? She said, we gave her this one, she goes, he's cuddly, I could take him to bed. He's nice and squishy for bed, isn't he? Oh. My obsession with trees, guys, it is out of hand. So I will say there's about 8,000 Christmas trees. I do have an obsession. Um, that makes me incredibly happy, yeah? We need more? You're on my wavelength. Wow. We need more. Yes, you're my decorating partner. Yeah, I know. Bye. James is going to walk Mila. Bye. You'll be back to uh, Winter Wonderland when you come back. This yeah, you can't wait, mate. Lights 
on the tree and then we'll put our baubles on. And fire up. Fire it up. Decorate and we will stop. Sorry. Sure. I'll help you. Thank you. Are you ready? ready? You count me in. One, two, three, go! Woo! <laughs> I'm We've got Santa here with us, guys. I'm the reindeer. <laughs> Very shiny nose. <laughs> Boop. Oh, right, let's find lots now. Oh, oh, oh. oh Merry Christmas! Oh, I've got a snowball. <laughs> oh, you've got a snowball. Oh, I've got a <laughs> reindeer sound, whatever that is. So we put the lights on the tree. It looks gorgeous. It looks like oh, oh. It looks like amazing. And now we're putting the decks on the ball balls. His tree is looking fabulous. Grinch is still going. House is turning into chaos. Um, what are we doing next, Ams? What are we doing next? Go on the stairs, go up. Yeah. Turn the skate down. Yeah. Go. Perfect. I've oh, got yeah. the string. Yeah. I like this green. Perfect. Let me get some scissors. This goes on the banister, guys. Yeah. That's our next job. And James should be home soon. You guys, wreath is done. What? What do you say? You like the decorations? They're great. I agree. I think they're awesome. I love them. You've helped me so much. Yeah. What's next? We're just putting out some of our outdoor decks. You want to do that one too? We got our reindeers. We got some Christmas trees. We got these ones. We got Santa right here. Let's put these ones by. I think. Should we put them by Santa? Which is still going, guys. Wow, I told you I had an obsession with little tea light houses. We're gonna build the village now. This is my favorite part. Are you excited? You're gonna help me? You've been helping me with everything. I don't know how I would have done it without you this year, baby. So Christmas village is set up. Looks a bit dull until we get the string of lights through it. Then we'll do the big reveal. My tip slash hack with the Christmas village is you do not bother with doing individual lights in each house because that would literally take me three hours to turn on in the evening. I just run one string of fairy lights through them all and then boom, just click, one click and it's on. Also, we just put on our decorations that we got today in John Lewis when we were filming the St. David's um, content that we were doing with them. Look how lush they are. I love the one that Amber loves. James is obsessed with the tree, guys. It's the best tree we've ever had. He loves it. Do you know what? Do you know why I think it's so good? Why? I haven't been involved. <laughs> so I get to come home. Wow. My dog walk. Yeah. And just go. Love it. It's amazing. That is true. I have no kind of you know trauma from the no. stress of. Uh, I'm pretty sure last year you just watched the Grinch while I decorated. I did do that last year. And that was, yeah. like, was quite enjoyable because I'm now. I'm going to put a plain gold bauble here, and you're like. I know. On the front of the tree. I was quite happy because that. Amber just did all the little ones at the bottom, and she really oh. enjoyed herself. She was honestly, it was so much fun. It was like my dream come true to having someone that was just as excited as me decorating with me. Why have I still got these on? They're literally jingling every time I. Blank. It's cute. There's a dog today on the dog walk, a little cocker spaniel, having Aww. a little bell on. So, you know, we, we need to get me and I won't lose you. Because the number of times we're out shopping, you know, and then I look back and you're nowhere to be seen. And it's James. because you stop to look at something after you when you stop. James! I'm behind, you're coming. Coming. <laughs> but now me and Amber are tackling the kitchen. We've got the little trees, just we're keeping the kitchen quite minimal compared to usual. And tomorrow we've got loads of other little bits to do like this window and loads of windows i've got loads of like um christmas stickers like white ones which we're just going to stick everywhere oh, guys we managed to make it happen no she's putting something in the bin for me thank you amber um me and amber have been very busy and this one's up now as well mabel moo hello she had such a mammoth nap we had to literally wake her up yes we did 
She was fast asleep. Oh, she would knock us wet tonight. James is cooking home fresh. What are we having tonight? I am. We are having sticky chicken Ooh. with rice. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I uh, know. My favourite type of ones. Mommy. Um, yeah, should we show all the other decorations we've been doing? This is currently what the house is looking like because I've been doing the outdoor wreaths. We've got other little bits around the little bit of mistletoe. Baby's cot. We've had this literally all year round, baby's cot. So, can you open the door for me, Em, so I can just show the outdoor ones? Do you want to come out with me? Thank you. Me and Amber have been working on the outdoor decorations too. I need to get a swapped out for the Christmas wreath, which does light up. Um, Why? We show? Yeah. You still the vibe of the outdoors. We've got some Santas, we've got some trees. Oh. And then it goes all the way up there. Still stuck on the fact that I did a magic trick with her when I showed them tonight. I went one, two, three, say one, two, three, go. And then I turned them on. And now she thinks she can say one, two, three, off. And they'll turn off, but they don't. I know because they, they they turn off and on with a switch. I have told her now, but we we want to keep the magic real, don't we? Why are they not going off? Why are they not going off? Come on then, let's go back inside. It's too cold. And we got the garage lights. Got the garage lights twinkling too. So yeah, we're loving the little outdoor outdoor bit. I need to get my lights on the wreath for the door. But yeah, I'm so happy. We're feeling festive. Do you want to turn on your lights in your bedroom? Are they on already? Yeah. Oh, okay. You turned them on with Daddy, did you? Turned on the lights. Oh, they're going on and off. They've got different settings. And then, as if we haven't got enough trees, me and Amber picked up a Christmas tree for Amber's room the other day from Ikea. Where should we put it? Where do you want to put it? Uh, yeah? Okay. Where that magic store Yeah, don't forget to put your decorations on. Look at that. we got the Christmas tree decorated. We've got Squishy Santa watching us oh you and click again go through all the settings and see which ones you like again oh wow that's bright look at those amber yeah. whoa hello hello cheeky so guys i literally haven't worn my glasses in forever so i just feel like i don't know who this is in the, in the screen i just i know you literally don't do you no i said that earlier i was like mm. who's this even James was like, hmm, you look really different in your glasses. Because he hasn't seen me wearing them in ages. Um, that was fascinating. The girls have gone to bed, like I said yesterday, I lose my brain at past 7pm. So I, I lose my brain past 5. By the time my <laughs> cooking starts, I know. Like, I just need to start over now. I know, literally. So we're gone. So I won't keep you long, guys. I just thought we'd uh, do my sock of the day. Is it the 6th? It is the sick, yeah. Yeah, I was meant to do it this morning when I when I showed this to Amber to get her. So you can wear it for the day. This is what honestly, but this you is like what. To wear it for the night, don't you? Yeah, you that's exactly it, James. I like to wear it for the night. So this is. I'm going to be so sad when this is over. I'm halfway through. Every night I come down freshly showered in my PJs, and I get my fresh pair of socks to go to bed in. What have we got today, guys? No, that's literally adorable. Oh, sausage hi. dogs. Oh, I love a sausage dog. These, these dogs make me so happy. These socks make me so happy. Sausage dogs also make me so happy. I know, they're the cutest, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have bye a good guys. one. Bye. Bye.